Eastern Security Network will enforce the anti grazing law in Biafran land, Namdi Kanu claims. Based on the ongoing attacks by the Fulani headsmen in the southern part of the country, many Nigerians have reacted to the news that have been circulating around the nation. Also, many Nigerian activists have reacted to the news and gave their opinion concerning the attacks by the deadly Boko group. Namdi Kanu, who is known for fighting for the freedom of Biafran, has also been sharing his own opinion concerning the issue via his Twitter account. Namdi Kanu recently made it known that the Eastern Security Network will enforce a law which is known as the anti grazing law in Biafran land. He made this known via his Twitter account. He also disclosed that he was deplatformed by Facebook because of a particular broadcast which he tagged, Shattering Broadcast, and he shared a SoundCloud link for people to listen to the broadcast. He said in his own words, Listen to the Earth Shattering Broadcast that caused Facebook to the platform me. You can't surprise the truth. Eastern Security Network will enforce the anti grazing law in Biafra land by Mazi Namikano on Radio Biafra on the 2nd of February 2021 by Biafra Rising on SoundCloud. Thank you for listening to this news. As if I know. I've th I thought as much. It will not be anything aside from the fact that he is broadcasting on Eastern Security Network. But come to think of it, is it only Mazenam the Kanu that is broadcasting on security outfits? And looking at the topic that made Facebook to um, to the platform him, to me that topic is not that strong enough to have uh, to have um, permitted or made Facebook to go that far in doing what uh, what he has done. Well, that's not an issue anyway. Just like one of the comments commenter we say that. You may remove him from Facebook, but you, you cannot stop him from sharing the truth. Because Biafran Radio mm. is a radio station that is meant to broadcast the truth. So the truth will still reach the people, no matter what. Mm -hmm. So you can go ahead and the platform him over and over again. Mm -hmm. That doesn't still stop the gospel of Biafran freedom from reaching the people or reaching the right people you understand then back to uh, enforcement of uh, anti-grazing law in biafran land it is very very important very 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 important whether they like it or not it is very important you know things of this kind it's not supposed to it's not supposed to uh to, to be allowed to exist in the biafran land it's not supposed to be allowed to come to play in any way in the biafran land because the biafran land is a land for the Igbos and not for the fulanese and despite that the fulanese still walk around freely with their cattle, graze on, on farmer's land, their own land, graze on it, challenge the owner and still kill the owner. Still on that, they will still tell you that they are the owner of the land that belongs to you. Things of this kind is not allowed to exist in the Biafran land. For crying out loud, 
this is a land for the easterners and not for the northerners. Yet, it is handled as if it belonged to the northerners. Can you imagine? It is only in this our in this administration that I see that this Fulanese will go we go to the southeast and demand for a land even without paying a dime. And all this is the cause of our of of of, of our of our monarchs and evil leaders Nya Modu. Joe Ibokwe, Umai, Uzodima, and Co. They are the cause of all this nonsense. If had they been, they have been speaking the voices of the people. Had they been, they have been standing by the people. These people would not have gotten that God to, to invade into people's land and start challenging them on the land that belongs to them. On what basis and why? Onto what ground? They will still challenge you, they will graze on it, they will collect the land and still tell you that they are the owner. You understand? It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. It doesn't make any sense in any way. Look at look at what they did in the southwest. Look at the, 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 the error they committed in the southwest. What are we to say about that? Southwest is still discussing about either to keep to still allow them or not to allow them instead of them to become they still went on with their evil deeds and their evil plans. Tell me, can you still keep such people? Can you still keep such a people? Such people, where are they supposed to be? Where are such people supposed to be? You don't abort criminals. You don't abort impostors. Yes. As far as I'm concerned. Okay, look at the video I was watching today. This video was showing a Fulani Edsman raping a lady in public. And after doing that, she plucked out the eyes of this lady. Oh my God. My viewers. These people can be heartless. They can be heartless. We are just pitting them, not knowing that the people we are pitting are devilish at, in heart. They are very, very devilish. Their heart is poisoned. My viewers, please. I will appreciate it if you two can come in and air your own opinion concerning this issue. Alright? Deem it free to leave them below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.